I'll just start by saying that dad I know you're watching because you watch every single one of my videos and watch at your own risk because I will be talking about sex right now This video has been on my mind for maybe a year now and I'm finally feeling brave enough to share such strong opinions. I find monogamy and open relationships such fascinating topics and I really don't think we should not discuss them just because it makes us uncomfortable and because some of us have different opinions, I don't think we should be silenced. I will say though that I see more discussion about open relationships and polyamorous relationships vibrating throughout social media spaces a lot more than the beauty of monogamous relationships, which is likely due to the fact that there's this belief that monogamy is this institution that we have to fight against and question. I believe one might consider themselves an enlightened or evolved being for coming up with the innovative idea of going to bed with other people. And listen, while I do have a more traditional view of monogamy, I'm also all about questioning the mainstream. Once everyone starts doing or saying something, my first response is to question it and ask myself whether I agree based on the merit of the action or the thought or whether I'm just falling into line because I fear breaking convention. I think pressing boundaries and questioning tradition is a good thing. I've been vegan for 13 years for crying out loud. I am no stranger to going counterculture. And even though veganism is trendy right now and sort of popular, it was not trendy when I initially went vegan, trust me. So when I first heard the concept of open relationships, I admit I was really curious and I listened with an open mind because I had never really heard of anything other than monogamy as the norm. But after careful thought and consideration and lots and lots of listening, I've come to my own conclusion that open relationships just don't work. But it might work for us. I know open relationships or any other form of non-monogamous relationships allude to this idea of freedom, to love without boundaries, to go beyond the rules of tradition, but in reality, this isn't true freedom. Someone always inevitably gets hurt. And advocates of open relationships will say, well, if someone gets hurt or if someone feels jealous, it just means that that person needs to evolve. They say that they aren't truly secure in themselves and that's why they're experiencing jealousy when their partner slept with someone else. Well, to that I say, jealousy is not an indication of weakness. Being jealous that your partner is sexually intimate with another person is a very normal human response. And maybe that response is normal for a reason, because jumping into bed with someone else who's not your partner is damaging to your relationship. And listen, I could argue all day about how open relationships are a bad idea all around. Personally, I think open relationships are a sign that a couple is not willing to do the hard work to access the hot and steamy stuff that monogamy has to offer. I think suggesting opening your relationship and your bed to other partners is a lazy way of trying to fix something that is fundamentally broken, or is a demonstration of simply wanting to give in to desires and distractions. Remember, just because you have the desire or the urge to bone someone doesn't mean you should. As human beings, we have a lot of desires and urges, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are justified or need to be acted upon. What I really want to talk about, though, is how sexy monogamy monogamy can actually be truly sexy because true intimacy, vulnerability, and connection is the hottest thing in the world. I want to talk about this because I feel like monogamy is getting this reputation of being unnatural and impossible and cheating is inevitable and sex within a monogamous relationship is seen as deadened and lacking of thrill, pleasure, and excitement. I just don't see it that way at all. It seems the biggest draw away from monogamy is this imagined idea that sex with one partner for the rest of your life is inevitably boring. The truth is, the deeper you know someone and the deeper they know you, the more intense your orgasms can be. Research has shown that when couples become more emotionally connected, their sex life improves. If you are able to access the deepest, rawest parts of yourself and that of your partner, you together will be able to achieve the greatest thrills in bed. Recreational sex with a partner you're not emotionally connected to is cheap. Sure, it may be exciting at first, but that's just because we get distracted by new and shiny objects. I believe true monogamy is not simply abstaining from sex with other people. The hottest and deepest monogamous relationships are free of white lies and fakeness. They are naked and unguarded. They are composed of two people willing to dig into the hard stuff and unearth the uncomfortable truths of what it means to be human and to show that to each other without fear or shame. Two people who do not keep their phone passwords 
words a secret. I can't believe couples do this. I came across this concept of true monogamy or conscious monogamy from one of my favorite people on the internet named Kim Anami. If you aren't familiar with Kim Anami's work, please turn me off right now and go watch all of her free content. It's frankly just so compelling and thought-provoking and funny and it kind of turns you on. She explains that in true or conscious monogamy you're not just not sleeping with other people, you are genuinely connected. And in so being, you experience sex like you never have before. And when you experience sex like this with your partner, you lose your taste for one night stands or additional lovers. According to Anami, conscious monogamy does not include the following. Secrets, hidden lives, sex for just five minutes once a week, stealthy porn habits, and guarded emotions. I want to challenge this idea that being married to one person for 50 years means you're going to wake up to one person every day for the rest of your life. The truth is, if you and your partner are both committed to evolving and continual growth, you won't be the same people five or seven years down the line. My husband and I are not the same people at all as when we met in 2010. We aren't the same people as when we got married, and we aren't even the same people from three years ago. And remember, while change is inevitable because nothing is stagnant, growth is a choice. And with that growth, your sex life changes. So don't buy into this idea that monogamous sex inevitably equates to boring sex. As you grow individually and together as a couple and continually commit yourselves to one another, what you do in the bedroom, shower, kitchen, or backseat of the car will evolve over time. I think at the core of the polyamorous argument is this misguided utopian idea that the convention of two partners staying together is holding us back from experiencing unbridled sexuality. I don't fall prey to utopian concepts. I don't delude myself into thinking we as imperfect humans could ever achieve perfection. I really think if a couple is considering opening their relationship, there's probably something at the core of their relationship that's broken and it needs to be addressed and mended. And for those couples, I would highly recommend Kim and Ami's work. I personally have never done one of her salons, but I've always wanted to. She has incredible work that brings couples together. Her whole thing is like coming together, haha. She even has retreats for people who really want to get serious about it. And it's about reconnecting and finding that hot sex again with just one partner. Monogamy is hot. Monogamy is beautiful. When someone truly sees you for everything that you are and you see them and you're fully accepting and coming together, it's the steamiest, hottest thing in the world. There is so much to say about open relationships and relationships in general. I love this topic and yes, I do recognize this is a very strong opinion. I'm strongly putting out into the world. And I recognize I'm inviting a lot of lengthy commenters and plenty of downward facing thumbs. To be honest, sharing such strong opinions on the internet really requires some ovaries. But I just felt that monogamy was not getting its time in the light at the moment. And I want you to know that I welcome all opinions as long as they are respectfully shared and as long as you are willing to listen to my own. I have a handful of friends who have been in open relationships and I respect them. I respect their choice because because that's their choice, just like it's my choice to be monogamous with my husband. If you have been in a monogamous relationship for quite a long time, I recognize I have, you know, I'm a bit of a rookie in the game. I would love to hear um, about your experience below, if you're, especially if you're a fan of Kim and Ami's work, um, if you think monogamy is hot as well, even after 35 years. And one more thing, which I hope is clear, but I think it is worth noting, my husband and I do not have a perfect relationship. There is no such thing, just like there's no perfect person or perfect society. We are just two broken people who make the choice to stay committed to each other every day, despite our many flaws. And it's friggin' sexy. Yeah. Coming for you. Six foot four, Balenciaga, all black. Stretch Bugatti and it's sitting on me. Oh, something like that. Got me running like track, freak like me, got me bending my back.